We're here at the 2012 SEMA show in Las Vegas. We're in the AccuAir suspension booth and I'm next to our 2010 Audi A4 Avant. This car was built by Coastline Autosport and it's got an all metal wide body on it. The car's super outrageous and attracting a ton of attention. We're really excited about it. So this year we're releasing our all new product, which is the iLevel system. Uh, the iLevel is a way to communicate with your E-Level air management system through your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. I'm gonna give you a little rundown on the system and we're gonna go ahead and see this Audi work right behind us. Right off the bat, I'm gonna show you how you connect your phone to your actual iLevel receiver. And so you go into settings and we're gonna look at Wi-Fi. Basically, we've created a Wi-Fi connection between your phone and our system. Um, you'll actually use, uh, we'll choose eye level here, and you'll actually enter a personal passcode so that you're the only person that can actually use your vehicle system. Um, so we're going to leave this and we're going to go open up the eye level app. And so from here, you'll see that the touchpad looks exactly like our actual touchpad. So the iPhone app is, is made to emulate the exact buttons and give you the same exact feedback that you're used to with our touchpad system. So. Let's run through it. Right now we're at position three. Um, this is our raise height for the car. This is for getting over speed bumps or uh, you know, maybe getting in a driveway. Um, so on the app, I'm gonna push number two. So we drop down to number two. And now this is the aligned height for the car. This is where we're gonna drive the car at. Um, now we'll push, push position one. Uh, this is our low cruise height. Um, we still roll the car at this height, but we're not gonna go over real rough roads or uh, turn any real tight corners. And then we'll do an all down. And this one has like a three, three to four second safety um, function that you have to hold the button so that you don't accidentally hit that on, on you know, the highway. And so now the car is all the way down in its parking stance. All right, so I'm gonna run you through some of the manual adjustment capability of the system. You'll see that we have uh, basically individual corner control for the left front, right front, left rear, and right rear of the vehicle. Um, when I push these on the app, you'll hear and see a movement the response is nearly immediate. It's, it's really impressive what we've been able to do with this Wi-Fi connection. All right, so all of this functionality is available when the ignition is on. Um, you know, you can be parked with the ignition on or driving with the ignition on. Now, when we turn the ignition off, I'll flick this switch, you'll see that the touchpad turns off and the eye level system goes into what we call key fob mode. So you have access to your three saved heights and the all down function. So say you're walking away from your car, you can drop it you know, you're walking back to your car, you can hit lift on start, um, and it's ready for you when you go to get in it. We turn the ignition back on, and the system comes back to full functionality. So one of the awesome things that we added with the eye level system is the menu mode. So when you click the menu button, you can actually jump in here and change system features. Um, basically on a fresh system, you could do a calibration. Uh, this is where we would also save new heights, and you can change your settings and preferences. So. Real quick, I'll kind of show you, if, if you had a fresh system, a brand new one, you would go into calibration, choose the type of calibration you wanted to do, and step through this procedure step by step. So let's say you wanted to save a new height. We'll jump into save heights, and this is where you would use the manual adjustment arrows to manually move the car to a new height you want to save. From here, you click next, and then we choose the position that we want to save to. So we like this height as a low cruise height, we're gonna hold the number one button, and it says, boom, position one saved. It shows up on your touchpad that now we're at position one and it's saved. Also from the menu mode, you can change settings. Jump into settings and you can see all your different feature system features. So we have ride height on start, ride monitor mode, ride monitor mode accuracy, and trim mode. Um, from here is also where you can change your tank pressure setting from 150 to 175 or 200. So I just wanted to show you a quick example of some of the diagnostic features that the eye level system has. Um, I went and disconnected the height sensors from the ECU. And so you can see on your E-level touchpad, every, all, all four corners are lit up red. You'll also see that emulated on the eye level system as well as a written prompt that explains what's, what's happening with your system. And so you can actually jump through this and it will give you hints for how to solve the problem. So we chose to go with Wi-Fi for the eye level system for a few reasons. Number one, we wanted to have really good range. The system works from about 100 feet away from your vehicle. Um, number two, we wanted 
good password protection um, so that nobody else could get on your system. And number three, we wanted really quick response. Um, you'll see, you can hear just almost immediate response when you tap that button. The iLevel system offers full control over your E-Level air suspension system through your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Plug and play with all existing E-Level systems. Not for use with switch speed, but switch speed can be easily upgraded to E-Level. App is available for free. Download through the Apple App Store. Requires purchase of the iLevel Wi-Fi module, which is plug and play with all existing E-Level systems. Select or save from the E-Level system's three automatic height settings. Manually adjust the height of all four corners of the vehicle. Select the E-Level's All Down function for parking. Intuitive system setup and selection of E-Level system features. Pop-up system diagnostics with helpful troubleshooting tips built in. Fully operational with vehicle ignition on and operates in key fob mode with vehicle ignition off. Allows three height and all down selection. Smart sleep function prevents battery drain for extended parking. Development of the Android version of the iLevel app is already underway and scheduled for release mid-2013. For more information on iLevel, please visit www.acuair.com.